Hi boys and girls, Pachi and Machi, auntie and uncles, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology, where I bring my viewers around the world to see and explore. And today is a beautiful weekend morning and I am at Thompson Nature Park. I, ju I just passed the entrance and it seems like a very, very nice nature park to spend a nice Sunday morning. Now, Thompson Nature Park is located on the east side of the Central Catchment Nature Reserve. It's between Old Thompson Road and Thompson Road. It is a 50 acre nature park. It has a total of five trails. The trails stretch out to be about 3.8 kilometers long. And it is really uh, home to a lot of flora and fauna and diverse species of animals and plants and insects. And it is really one of the hidden gems here in Singapore. And also in this, na this nature park sits a hidden an abandoned Hainan village. Well, it's not abandoned, but there used to be a Hainanese village settlement kampung here in Thompson Nature Park. They had to be relocated, but the ruins of this kampung, this village is still here. So I am taking you with me today to walk through the beautiful Thompson Nature Park, which it's really really nice. I mean the pavement is just you know like, this is Singapore. The pavement is really really nice. Fresh air during the weekend is all I ever needed. So come along with me for this fun short hike walk I should say through Thompson Nature Park. I To get here, I we, I took a, like a, the MRT to Upper Thompson MRT station, and then from there, I took the nine eight zero bus, and the bus stop is called Beth S L S L E, right? S L A. S L E and and I just I just learned that the word F B E F means before, <laughs> which <laughs> before so Beth is before so the bus station is before S L E. What is S L E ah? Singapore Seletar Expressway Seletar Expressway. There on you walk about uh, twenty minutes to the left side, and that's where we come to the entrance. So as I said, this is the whole central catchment nature reserve. It's really, really huge. And Thompson is right at the east side of it. Now Thompson Nature Park is now uh, a preservation place for all these incredible animals, especially the banded langur. Oh, look at them. And also pangolin that I didn't really know. I didn't really realize that Singapore had pangolin and the spotted tree flock and the blue rumpet parrot so they this is like their home now thompson nature park which uh they've done a really good job conserving um the park and the whole area for these animals to call home once again here is my new friend brian say hello to my Hi, viewers brian everyone. i'm so happy to meet brian because brian is not only a local but he grew up uh, around here right brian yes, 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 yes so he's gonna i'm gonna uh, ask him about questions on the hainan kampong village. that village that used to be here yes and your your grandmother lived here yes 
lived here like around in the 30s, in the 40s? Uh, starting from the 30s all the way to the early 80s. You do you, have you, do you visit her? Have you uh, visited? I grew up basically uh, until when I was uh, five or six. The people here majority are Hainanese. Hainanese. They have farmhouses here. They have farmhouses. They have uh, pig, uh, pig farms, pig plantations, farms, plantations, chicken farms, chicken farms, uh, uh, livestock, livestock, chicken, chicken trees. Right. How how is the life here for the Hainan people in uh, Thompson? It was that time. It was very peaceful. Mm. Everybody knows everybody. Oh. You know. So it's about two hundred people that lived here. You said uh, two hundred people. About uh, thirty. Uh, and easily about 30 or uh, 40 households or 30 40 households yeah, yeah. so and we're talking about at least about 8 to 10 per household right so about 400 very tight knit community a very tight knit kampong yeah. they relocated in the you said in the 80s right yes yeah, so when 80s they had to... people start leaving the the, the the village area and started going to the the, the, the cities like amokyo tapayo and did the, did the government compensate them when they had to? Relocate? No, really, not really. But I think they were given some sort of a compensation. So, but they don't uh, they don't own the land title. No, they here. don't own the land. So they had yeah. to they had to go when yes, the yes. When it was like government. you know you you found a place that you you find home, then you start building up your your, your shed, and then you start expanding your shed out to like a two room to a three room. Yeah, yeah, and like we'll, a BTO, you know, like a BTO. <laughs> so we're we're gonna see some of the ruins here yeah. in uh, Thompson Nature Park, which I think is very very interesting. Yes. I've never. Seen, I've never heard of a nature park where there's a kampong and they left. Yeah, one of the, the very few. Left. One of the very few. Do a house? See? The steps. So it's actually oh, Wow. Yeah. It's still here, huh? Yeah, it's still here. Because this, the concrete wall, this was cement. It will never go out. You see, it goes up. So there are houses on the left and houses on the right. Right. See, it goes already up. No, it goes down. Really. So wow. this is, uh, Mr. Han Wai Tun's farmhouse and mm. farmhouse used to Han is a very uh, common Hainanese, Hainanese name. name yes. Really? Han? Han Fu Han Fu Yeah, Fu I know uh, Tek Wui Tek Wui Tek Wui means uh, Huang Oh, Huang uh, Oh, these are uh, Hainanese uh, names oh. Yes, Tan Tan Tam Tam T-A-M T-A-M uh, The Nios Like for me uh, The Lois Nio, uh, The, the Lois uh, 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 The Fu The this is a really nice board about the Hainan village. Uh, history here in Thompson Nature. And this is what it looks like in the 30s. And as, um, as Brian mentioned, they grew a lot of plants here. Like this is rambutans. And I guess they sell it also. And these are their houses. It's really, really nice. And they have their own uh, shops. This is a, like the community. So the, the village was cleared out in the 1980s and they moved to other places in Singapore. is the Wong's family house uh, and what's left of it you can see the walls there belongs to the Wong family and they had like 11 members of family living here this house looks like used to be here I know it's a pick, this is the pig farm they yeah, will follow you out yeah, it's a stove yeah. Oh, it's a stove. Where? Oh, so this is where they fit the pig. And this used to be a pig farm. Wow, look at that. Fix. Oh, that's why they call this the fix trail. Because you can see a lot of fix. And... Nice. And you be careful because like a fong or wasp side. They, they, the wasps. I think they lay their eggs inside. Oh, the wasps lay their egg inside. Uh, oh gosh, that's so, so interesting. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. A Singaporean ant. Is an ant? Yeah, It's so big. Yeah. Louis. Oh wow. Yeah. One or two. Yeah, family of them. 
Yay! We spotted monkeys. They are Singaporean monkeys. The market. Yeah, this is another cat. Uh, for the asking, where you yeah. go, I go. I thought I was what I was. I thought I was what I've been told. I thought I was. Been a long time, baby. That was the trail for Thompson Nature Park. I fully enjoyed it. I really didn't thought that it was not crowded. I was expecting quite a big crowd, but no war. There's, there's really hardly any crowd. And it was like some of the places really look very pristine. Look like you're walking in a rainforest, honestly. Well done to the people who manage the park. It's really well managed and very clean and saw some wild animals who call it home here in Thompson. Now, this is the section where we eat and I'm going for brunch with my friends at the Casual Rina Prata place. I have never been there. I heard they're legendary for their Prata uh, bread and uh, they use everything fresh ingredient. It's a it's actually a very historical, I mean, old brand that's been around and people, uh, it was very popular with the Singaporean. And so here we go to the Prata place. So here I am at the Cajurina Curry. This is Thompson Road, right? It's right at Thompson Road. A very famous brand for a lot of Singaporeans. My first time here. Famous for their prata. They prepare everything fresh and that's why I'm here. But I ordered the prawn sambal. So let me have the first taste of uh, sambal. It, it's not easy to get spicy food here in Singapore, but I think this is the best place for spicy food. Yeah. Everything from that kitchen looks amazing. I'm so finishing up. This is Casuarina Curry. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs> and if you want more videos of parks in Singapore, I have Rifle Range. Here you can watch Rifle Range, which I did uh, last month. And this is out here in the next video. Goodbye from Thompson Road, right? Goodbye from Thompson Road, Singapore. <laughs>